everybody it's Karina with Karina loves to plan welcome back to my channel so here I am back in my mini happy planner and I'm going to show you how I'm going to decorate my March monthly spread and use it as a gratitude journal so I'll flip back to what February looks like here I used the um, color storybook where I really just decorated but the way that I use it is for each day I write down one thing that I'm grateful for yes yeah, so I was very grateful for Justin Timberlake that day um, but this way I can focus on one good thing every day and then as a monthly spread I can look over and see everything all at once so flip back to March I'm just going to take these out of the discs there we go and I'm just going to zoom in here so for the month of March, I'm going with a spring theme and I'm going to be using the Squad Goals sticker book. This book is actually new to me. I think I only purchased it a couple of months ago. It's been out for a while, um, but I've been kind of uh, trying not to buy as many Happy Planner sticker books. I go through phases where I buy a whole bunch of books or then I go through a phase of not buying any of these books and then buy a whole bunch of Etsy kits so I go through my stages so I didn't really buy this one until about a couple of months ago but I'm so excited to use the spring theme that's in here with these squad girls and show you how I decorate my monthly spread all right so let's get started so one of the first things that I want to do is kind of decorate on the outsides and the edges actually one of the things I'm going to do first is decorate the bottom You've seen me do this before where I place a sticker or a selection of stickers at the bottom and then kind of cut them so that I've got one sticker over the edge of both. Like I love these. These are really, really pretty. I love spring. Ooh. Ooh. Or I love spring because spring, I love March because March is my birthday. Um, I, I feel like I'm a, I'm a spring break baby, basically. My birthday is always during spring break here in Canada. Oh, that is crooked. Still crooked. But my birthday is always during spring break in Canada. So for anyone out there who has a spring break birthday or a um, or a Christmas break birthday or a summer break birthday you guys understand it's like you try and have a birthday party with all your friends but they're either all on vacation they're not available I know first world problems but you get what I mean okay just sticking that down over both and then basically just cut along the edge. So you'll see I've used like, well, two stickers in this case because the border wasn't long enough. And cut down right down the middle. And you get this really cute little border of florals at the bottom. Pretty, I'm just gonna, I, ha I hate cutting off the excess here, but I kinda have to. It's really cute. Ugh super cute okay and then at the top because there's a bit more room and then I'm going to use some of these florals and so I'm going to do the kind of the similar thing here of joining the tops together like, these are gorgeous there's only one page of them uh, okay um, okay We'll take this one here, and this one I feel like I could almost cut into two. So we'll use it one first, and place it over like this. <laughs> Sorry, it's like I lay down stickers and my hand makes a lovely farting noise. Then this one, I'm sorry if that farting noise distracts some of you. Then another, maybe a cute little red one. I'm going to choose a, I don't know, this is the medium sized one. And 
and I don't mind if it goes over the words too much, the word march. It'll add a little bit of something to it, I think. And then this smaller one. I, I don't want to use all of these because um, I, I do want to save them for another spread that I will do. Okay, so like I did for the bottom of the page, I'm just cutting along the edges of the page here. And actually, now that that's there, that does bug me. I thought I could be okay with it being over the word March, but I'm not okay with it. Okay. Oh, it's like, where did it go? So maybe, you know what, I'll save that for another spread. I can always use that. So, so far I like way off screen guys sorry so I like that there's a border of florals at the top and border of florals at the bottom now for adding some decoration in here generally I leave the actual calendar boxes empty because I'm going to be filling them in each week is that the summer one and then so I'll pick a couple of these girls to work with spring. I feel like I could use, her, although I'm not going to start my walking for my half marathon training until April. So I'll use this girl. I think she's pretty. And place her down there. And then um, Is there enough room for her to just kind of hang out? Maybe? Yeah. Place her right there. And then that's the only thing with this sticker book is that they don't have really pretty quotes. So I might have to jump into another sticker book, even though I said I didn't want to. I might have to jump into another sticker book here to add some quotes. But I do want to highlight my birthday. But they, these boxes are just like way too big. It's way too big. And then I'd be going into the, the holes for the disc. So maybe, um, maybe I'll just take a green sticker. Like I'm gonna remember my birthday, or like I'm gonna forget my birthday. I remember when I was younger, as soon as March hit, I would be counting down the days until it was my birthday. And um, it may have driven other people nuts, whatever. But it, I would count down the days until my birthday, but then when you get older, you're kinda like, whatever. I, I haven't had the best experience with my birthday over the years. That's a pretty sticker. Um, mainly due to just a, a lot of things happening on my birthday. This is really pretty. Hold on, I'm gonna grab one more sticker book here. So I've gone into the farmhouse sticker book and I found this one. A grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. I'm just gonna place that maybe a little bit under. And I know some parts of it are going to get cut off, so let's cut off. It's always at the most awkward part, too. There. And then, oh my goodness. That is pretty. So I'm going to add a couple more floral stickers. Where's my, where are my tweezers? Oh, I do this all the time. Where I put stuff down and then I don't remember where I put stuff down. Oh, there. And then I get mad at my husband for doing the same thing. Like for house stuff, I'm generally good at where I put stuff, put things. But then come planner stuff and when I'm creating, it can get a little crazy. 
cute. Okay, and then a couple of florals here. Like this one is cute. Yeah. Or did I use this one yet? I used one of them. Place that here. And then another quote. See if I can find another quote in this book. I like it because it does have the rose gold foil. And if you haven't seen my videos yet, you know I'm a big fan of the rose gold foil. Fits perfectly in there. Then I know there's one quote in the back. Gosh, what is going on out there? Celebrate, although. Somebody is doing something out there. Celebrate just over her. Okay, I can deal with that. And then maybe a little floral in the corner there. Maybe this one peeking out. Somebody is doing some drilling or digging outside. Perfect. I like that. Simple but so, so pretty. Okay, so that is it for this spread. I'm sorry if part of it was <laughs> off screen, but I love that. So each day I will write down one thing that I am grateful for, and then at the end of the month, I can just look back at all the things that I've been grateful for, all the, the, the things that uh, make life great. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.